Welcome to the third part of the Symphony Service tutorial series. Today what we're going to be doing is debugging our services. We're not actually going to be writing any code today. What we're going to be doing is going into the terminal and discovering and inspecting bits and pieces about the services that we've created. We're also going to discover what other services are available to us, what services came with Symphony when we installed it. So let's go into the terminal here and I'm in the tutorial underscore three folder. If I was just to do an ls, we're in the root folder here um, and the thing we need to do is access the console, the Symphony console. Now please bear in mind that I'm on a legacy version of Symphony. If you're running uh, Symphony 4, Symphony 3, then your console will be found in a different folder. It will be in the bin folder. But in this version that I'm using, the console command is actually in the app folder. So what we need to do is type PHP because it is a PHP command uh, and then app console. And what I'm going to do is just press enter here. This is going to list out all of the commands available to us. If we scroll up, we're going to find in the uh, debug section here, uh, the debug conf uh, container. That's the one we need. Let's copy that and run that in here. So PHP app forward slash console. Again, this is going to be a different path to you if you're using a different version of Symfony. And then just paste that in, so debug container. Now what this is going to do is it's going to list out all the services available to us. This is fantastic, especially if you you can't remember what the service ID is of a particular service that you're using. I use this all the time to discover the the services available to me for things like doctrine. So if we scroll up here a little bit, we can see that we have all the translation stuff. We've got all the templating, Swift. Scroll up a little bit further, we've got monologue and the, all the form bits and pieces, as well as the doctrine stuff. Now, where is our stuff? Well, this is in alphabetical order by the by the service ID. So our stuff is right at the top because we created these three services, the app validation user, the app validator admin, and the app validator uh, user. Now, if I was to just copy one of these and uh, go to the bottom here, and if we were to run this again, but pass the argument of the service ID that we wish to inspect, then we actually get some information about that service that we've created. So here we have the service ID, which is app validation user. We have the class. This is the class of that service. We also have tags. Now, don't worry too much about tags. I'll be discussing these uh, later on in other tutorials. And we have the scope here. Now, the scope is set to container. That is the default value. But of course, you can have different containers yourself. And in the first tutorial, I showed you how to set shared to false. And therefore, it's not a shared service amongst the container. Um, we also have other bits and pieces like public, synth synthetic, lazy, and so forth. I'll be showing you all of these kind of things uh, later on in future parts of the Symphony Service tutorial series. Now, uh, it's quite a lot to go through here. If we scroll up again, we've got loads and loads and loads of stuff. And even though we have this list, it can be quite daunting. It can be quite difficult to actually pinpoint what it is we need. Uh, because some of the things that we might be after, for example, might be just simply lost in this noise of service IDs. So in order to whittle down this list, if you know that uh, the service ID perhaps starts with app then you can actually narrow down this list. We can press up on the keyboard to go back to the previous bash command. Let's just remove that space here to make it a little bit easier to read. What we can do is just remove a validation underscore user and just have app. Press enter here and what we've done is we've got a whole list of um, services that have app dot. Now notice we have a selection here, 0, 1, and 2. And if I pressed up and down on the keyboard, I can actually see the selection being chosen. So if I press enter on this one, uh, then we have the app validator user. Let's do that again. 
and instead of pressing up and down on the keyboard, we're actually going to select one of these. So, for example, we can just press 1 and then press Enter, and we have selected that option. Now, this is wonderful, especially when you're looking through a whole list of services. At the moment, we've only got three, but just imagine if we scrolled up a little bit here, we can see all of the stuff for perhaps... Uh, let's go up a little bit further. Let's get the Doctrine stuff um, like this. Now, notice the Doctrine actually has a service ID of Doctrine. So we don't have Doctrine uh, dot here. It's just Doctrine. So if I was to copy that, I'll show you what uh, selection we get from that. Um, scroll down here again and then remove app, paste in Doctrine. Now, this is actually going to pull out that Doctrine service. But we know full well that there is other services that start with the service ID of Doctrine. So to get around that, what you do, press up again, but and this time put in a dot, so it's Doctrine dot. Therefore, we're now going to get all of the services that have the service ID uh, of Doctrine dot. But notice on number 12 here, we actually have the Sensio framework extra converter dot Doctrine dot ORM. So what we're doing is we're not actually searching for service IDs that start with Doctrine Dot. We're searching for service IDs that contain Doctrine Dot. So it doesn't matter in the service ID where uh, Doctrine Dot actually is, because this is right at the end. So that was a quick way of debugging the services and listing out the services that are available to you. Now, if you found this video helpful, then do give it a thumbs up. Do share it around. And also, if you've got any comments, questions or queries, do put them down in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please do join me and others on the Discord server. You're also going to be supporting the channel. I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers. Bye.